We say all praises be to the Creator, all power to His people. In the name of Yahshua, the Black Revolutionary Messiah, I greet you, my brothers and sisters, in the spirit of truth and the words of peace. Shalom Aleichem. Give a special salute to the Black Messiahs. Our motto is stop waiting for a Savior and be one. Stop waiting for a Savior and be one. Coming this morning, dealing with the book of Isaiah. The prophet Isaiah, the 28th chapter, we're going to pull a couple of verses out of the 28th chapter. First, the seventh verse, Isaiah 28th chapter, seventh verse. But they also have erred through wine and through strong drink are out of the way. The priest and the prophet have erred through strong drink. They are swallowed up of wine. They are out of the way through strong drink. They err in vision. They stumble in judgment. Going down to the 13th chapter of the 28th verse of Isaiah. 28th, 13th chapter, the 28th chapter of Isaiah, but the word of the Lord was upon them, precept upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little, that they might go and fall backward and be broken, snared, and taken. <coughs> Going on to the 15th verse. <coughs> Because you have said, we have made a covenant with death, and we are, and with hell are we at agreement. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, it shall not come unto us. For we have made our lives our refuge, and under falsehood we have hidden ourselves. Therefore said the Lord of God, Behold, I will lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation he that believes shall not make haste brothers and sisters dealing this morning with the topic the power of the precept the power of the precept now many of us have been taught and we've we've heard uh preachers and theologians say that when studying the scriptures it should be done precept upon precept line upon line so you're not just leaning to your own understanding but there is a basis and a foundation for your theological direction according to strong's concordance precept and used in isaiah is a an injunction a commandment that's from the biblical definition coming from strong's exhaustive concordance of the bible we're also dealing with the legal definition of a precept coming from black's law dictionary fifth edition Precept, an order, writ, warrant, or process, an order or direction emanating from authority to an officer or body of officers commanding them to do some act within the scope of their powers. And lastly, coming from Webster's Dictionary, A precept is a rule of moral conduct, a maxim. Precept comes from the Latin word pre, meaning before, and capere, meaning to take. Pre means before, meaning something was established. There was a foundation laid, so we just don't go willy-nilly, again, leading to our own understanding and making things up. But we see today that those who are in power, it says the priests and the prophets have erred through strong drinking. If I could, for the context 
of what we're talking about. We can throw in leaders and politicians in that as well, if I could take that liberty. Through strong drink, you have come become delusional. You, your vision is an air. You stumble in judgment. Now, we're not talking about going out and drinking a 40. We're talking about drunk with power. Drunk with their own self of importance. Drunk with lies that they stumble in judgment. That's why the scriptures teach us that it's almost childlike. It's so simple. Precept upon precept, line upon line. What we are doing now has already, the rules that have been established, even going outside the Bible, have been established somewhere else for a reason. Precept. Before, pre, before. But what we have happening is people just want to make up stuff. They want to make up stuff and whatever fits them, they're going to roll with. No precept, no line upon line. I feel like doing it this day and this is what I'm going to do. When... Those of us who advocated, I'm bringing it home, for things like Martin Luther King's, not Martin Luther King, Malcolm X holiday, birthday for a proclamation. I remember it being denied, I think, in 2018. I think it was later agreed to in 2019, but there was a lot of discussion around it. When they, every word had to be fitting to precept. They had to take this word out. They had to take that word out. I think the first year said, no, nah, we just ain't going to do it. But un under further scrutiny, they had to go through what, was trying to be done with the Martin Luther King, Malcolm X proclamation to make it recognized in Durham. They had to go through every line where you can't say this and you can't say that and you got to take this out and you can't got to take this out. All right, you did that. Anything dealing with black people they go through every line to make sure everything is straight. And anything they can do to stop it from happening, they're going to stop from happening. But when it's something they want to do, they try to skip over all that and say, well, we're going to do it just because we feel like it. No, it doesn't work like that. Law, procedure, is based on Precepts. See, when you fought against the Malcolm X birthday proclamation in 2018, you led a, you put down a precept. You laid down a precept that you couldn't do certain things. That was your precept. That's why they don't want us to know history. They don't want us to know history. Time exists in past, present, and future. Time exists in past, present, and future. But they have black people always just living in the present. They destroyed our history so we have no past. They have made us uh, think we don't have a future, so many of us, we only live in, a, in the present. No sense of how we got here. 
No sense of where we're going. Everybody else, their culture, their history is rooted in past, present, and future. Our culture is just rooted in the present. That's why they don't want us to know our history. They don't want us to know the things that came before to lead up to this. That's why anytime also when you are dealing with city council or county commissioners or Anybody you're dealing with, school board, anybody, make sure you document everything. You know, we get into a, a, a thing about, well, I'm not going to speak at the city council. I'm not going to speak at the school board. I'm not going to speak at the county commissioners because it's a waste of time. It doesn't matter. No, when you put it in writing, when it comes on writing, even if they pretend they don't hear you, it's still part of the record and it still lays a precedent for what's to come. You can look back and say, well, you can't do this because on June 15th, 2019, you set this precedent. You set a precept and said this can't be done. So if it couldn't be done in 2018 or 2019, it can't be done in 2023. Precept upon precept, line upon line. But when you have destroyed people's history, you destroy the foundation. According to Isaiah, the most I said, People have made a covenant with death. They have made lies their refuge, and under falsehood they have hid themselves. But the Most High says, Therefore, thus says the Lord God, I, I lay in Zion for a foundation, a stone, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation, a precept, a precept. The foundation has already been laid and you can't go against the foundation because speaking in legal terms and political terms, you can't go against the foundation of what your democracy is built on. That's why, brothers and sisters, they want to keep us living in the present, just today, just live for the day. No, con no knowledge of the past, no consequences for the future, live for today. That's why we got to know our history, got to know our history. A sure foundation, a precious cornerstone, a tried stone. Precept upon precept, line upon line. As always, we leave with the Black Messiah motto, stop waiting for a savior and be one. Shalom.